Welcome back, everybody, to FS22. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is July the 1st. And as you can see, I've already accepted uh, the Hain contracts. Uh, so let's look at those contracts. We have um, all the usual bailing stuff. And the cool thing about these is all but one of them are silage, um, including 71. So we're already going to make almost 25 grand off of that. Well, aside from you know, borrowing their equipment. Uh, plus, you know, we'll get more money from the silage too. Uh, got a bunch of cultivating as usual. I took one harvesting contract for oats uh, because it's a decent sized field. It'll pay us 2,800 bucks and um, oats tend to sell for a little bit more than most of the other grains. So we should make a little extra money on top of that, but I'm not going to try and keep any of the grain because uh, I don't think we'll, there'll be enough there for us to bother with A and B. I have nothing uh, there's nothing I can do with oats anyways. You need horses for that. Uh, we do have one hay baling contract, but uh, I can't accept it and borrow the items because, you know, we would basically just need the tether from this, uh, and it'll only cost us $81 to borrow all that stuff. But the problem is it won't let me do it because I have too many things in the way. So if we try and borrow mm -hmm. items, it says no space. So we got to move some stuff out of the way. Um, and then there... I've kind of cycled through these a few times, cleared and cycled, and these are, we got some more harvest contracts, but they're all really small, and I've I've come to, you know, the, the small harvest contracts just aren't worth doing, because A, they don't pay very much to begin with, and it's a pain in the butt to have to drive a combine out to these fields, because the combines are so slow, and you got to mess with the header, so there's that, but you also get hardly any grain um, from the small fields, just barely a little bit left over. And it's just not worth it monetarily. And it's not hardly worth it to, you know, bring home for the chickens. Now, if it was a big field, like that big wheat field we did several episodes ago, that is by definitely worth it. Um, but these little ones just aren't worth it. Um, so I think I'm going to pass up on those for that reason. It's just not worth my time. Okay. So we have to move a few things out of the way um, you know, before we can accept that contract, but I'm sure it'll stay there. I've never really seen the hay contracts go away. Um, like the harvest ones do. If you don't, you know, jump on them right away. Uh, but before we even get going on contracts, uh, we need to go put the second fertilizer application on our new field. Um, so let's get that done first. Uh, I did finish all of the rolling on that field, too. I did all that off-camera after I left you guys in the last episode. Um, and so the field is was 100% prepped, except for this second application of FERC that we have to put on. And hold on a second. got to adjust my wheel again. Okay, it's good. Uh, yeah, so I got all the rolling done. And I'm, t and I'm talking specifically soil rolling in this case, not um, metal rolling. So we'll go out there and we'll just squirt some furt. Squirt some furt. All right, I'm just gonna load up whatever's in. Oh, there was 2% in there. <laughs> That's not a whole lot. No sirree, Bob. And we'll pull this out of here, too. All right, that's 20%. That that should be enough. Well, I hope it is, anyway, uh, to do this. Oh, uh, let's see. We looked at the sales. This is all that's available. We got a forage header, a cultivator, and a slurry tanker. None of that stuff is anything we are interested in. At least not right now. Maybe in the future. We'll see. We'll see how things go. So let's head on out to our new field here. Uh, we're kind of low-ish on money, but I'm not worried about that because by the time we are done with all these contracts, uh, we will be back up to six figures. Um, I'm almost certain certain that we will. Uh, so yeah, here is our newly growing grass. Um, but you can see if you look in the lower right-hand corner that it's only 50% fertilized. If we take a look in the map here, and we go to soil composition. Uh, where are we at? Right here. So, so basically what was the original field just needs to be 
a second stage of fertilization because the first stage happened when we seeded because we those seeders that we were using, which were amazing, by the way, um, also applied the fertilizer for us. So, so it's basically, we don't even have to do the whole field. We just have to do this little strip here. Now, these little blotches, I think those were from the forestry mulcher that we used. Um, we could squirt those too and just see if it, if it makes a difference. I'm not sure if it will or not, but we'll try it. We'll try it and see what happens. Okay, so I can't really visibly tell where exactly the old field was without looking at the map, but I'm going to guess that it's probably right about here, or this is where we need to be rather in our spreader. Okay, we're at full uh, spread there. And yeah, that seems about right. Um, so let's hit this. Actually, yeah, that's just about perfect, man. Look at that. Because you can see it once the fertilizer is applied. So we're just about right exactly where we need to be. If I can keep the tractor in a straight line, that is. Could actually go back over to the left a little bit. Okay, yeah, let's let's go ahead and bang this out here. Okay, that was almost enough to do the whole thing. Um, so much so that I don't think I'm even going to worry about these two little strips or the blotches that we missed. Um. It's just not worth it. And keep in mind, too, you know, once we do our first cutting of this grass, from that point forward, we'll always be rolling it, and then it'll always be 100% fertilized all over the place anyways. But, you know, I'll spend more money wasting extra fertilizer trying to cover these tiny little strips than I will get in extra yield if I do it, if that makes sense. So I th we're going to call it good and move on from there. Uh, all right. Super. Super, super duper. So, um, let's let's head on back, drop the spreader off, and then we got to move some equipment around in order to make room for that other uh, baling contract. And um, and since that's the only, I'm sorry, not baling, um, hay contract, as opposed to silage. Uh, and since that's the only one we have to do, I might even just get that one knocked out first and, and then return the equipment and get it out of our hair. Uh, on the other hand, though, if we hang on to it, we that does give us an extra tractor to work with. Um, so, hmm, yeah, that, that would be valuable. Woohoo! Um, however, doing that, we're going to need some overhead to pay the workers. Uh, and only have 7000 bucks on me right now, so maybe we should do that one and turn it in and... I should also probably get started on some of the cultivating contracts too, just so I have money to pay the workers uh, while we're doing it, you know? So we'll see how it goes. All right, I'm 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 guessing that the combine header is probably down at the shop. There are, are a couple of pieces that ended up down there. So why don't we drive the combine? I'm just gonna park the McCormick here for now. Why don't we drive the combine down there and grab the header and then I can have a worker take it up to the field and that'll clear a couple things out of the yard here. So we'll do that next. This is a Fint Ideal 7T. I've never been in this combine before and it's black. Schnazzy. And the inside of the combine looks pretty good too. <laughs> No lines to hook up on that. All right. What a nice, uh, what a nice combine, man. This thing is classy. It goes up to 26 miles an hour, which isn't too bad actually. It's faster than than my uh, my combine. I don't remember what mine does. I think it's only like 19 or something. Look at this thing, man. It's gorgeous. One of the things that makes this game so fun is just being able to try out all the different equipment. You know? 
that done such a good job of I, I assume anyways of modeling the, the, all these this machinery after their real life counterparts um, and it's just very enjoyable I must say All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the trailer right up here in front of the header-ish. Okay, and then drop that off. There we go. I guess I'm putting this on the right way. Is it gonna magically flip up? Yep, it did. All right. Oh, careful. Don't scratch the paint on this beautiful machine. This beautiful, very expensive, probably, machine. How much does this thing cost? I'm just curious now. Uh, let's go here. Let's go to Harvesters. This is the Fent. Ideal para level? No, that's not what we have. What do we have? We have the Fent. Oh, we have the Ideal 7T. So that is. Ideal uh, engine setup. 7T. This is the one we have here. Almost a half a million bucks, except for we we have wheels instead of tracks on ours. Um. Oh, do we? Wait a minute. This is an Ideal 7T, a Fanta Ideal 7T, and it's got tracks on it. But ours has wheels on it. Huh, some other configuration. Nevertheless, this is almost a half a million dollar machine, so we should probably be careful with it. <laughs> oh, man. That is neat, though. That's the other cool thing about doing the contracts is you get to try out all this different equipment while you're being paid. So, hey, that's not a bad deal, eh? All right, so the worker shouldn't have any trouble getting this up to the field with the header on a trailer. You just can't turn them loose on it when the header's on the machine because then they have issues. So let's go to here, and we're going to grab the combine. And I believe nine is where we're going. Let me just double check that before I send them all the way up there. Harvesting oats on field nine. Yeah, okay. Just wanted to make sure we're sending them to the right place. So create job, go to. And why don't you stage yourself right about there? Fantastic. Okay, now let's get another worker in this fast track, taking the... Oh, dude, seriously? Okay, hold on. He's probably going to cancel. Dummy. There he goes. Okay. And then we'll send another worker up there with this with this tractor. And then at some point we'll pop up there and, and actually do the work. Um, we might not be doing it immediately, but we'll get her done. We'll get her done. All right, so let's go back to here. Grab you. Great job. Go to... And let's just put you right here is good for now. I'll reposition everybody when the time comes. Okay, now I think we should be able to accept the hay contract and have everything spawn in here. Let's make sure we're out of the way. So this bailing contract, borrow items. Uh... Yep, yeah, there it is. Good. The must have put the tractor 
on our property. So let's just teleport back. Yeah, it's just this little feller here. All right, we're not going to use the mowing equipment because we have the crone. So I'm going to send a worker up to the field in the crone, and we're just going to bang that out, the mowing part of it out, but then we'll use the other equipment to do the hay. And then that's the only hay we have to do, and everything else will be silage. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, so we have to select the crone. That's not the crone. That's the crone. Great job. Go to. And I don't remember which field it is up there, but it doesn't matter. They're all at, in the same area. So just have them go there and then we'll run up and get them going when we get, get up there. You gonna make it through? Really? You're so dumb. What the heck? I can't. <laughs> I can't move. Yeah, he derped. For Pete's sake. All right, let's let's hop in here and get the get it out on the road. We'll try this again. Okay, we got the big M selected. You go stage yourself there. Can you handle that, bud? He's thinking. Uh, dude. What the heck, man? Oh, this is a problem. Man, I swear, you gotta babysit these guys. Uh, we're going to field nine. What are you even doing on this road? Okay, let's take the half million dollar combine right to the creek, because why not? They designed this to be waterproof, didn't they? There's our other buddy right there. Tell you what, since we're here, we might as well get these guys started, eh? Or uh, get this guy started anyway. Okay, so drop this off right here. Okay, we have to hop out and hook up the lines. Or do we? Oh, maybe it's already hooked up. Okay, I'm gonna start him down on this end of the field. Look at me moving forward on the stick there. Fun, fun. Go to it, bud. And remember, we're going to be able to come back and get the straw, too, because I have the mod. Uh, when I say remember, I'm talking to myself, of course, because I don't want to turn the quest in before we do that. Okay. I think... Oh, that field just has weeds in it. We're just going to park this in the, in the weed field for now, just so he's... Plenty clear from the combine. Okay, we'll let these guys go at it. Uh, where? What happened to the crone? Oh, you made it! 
Wow, miracles never cease to exist. Uh, okay, so which field is the hey one again? I can't remember. It is this one, so it's field 15. Okay. Let's uh that's this one over here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bust it out really quick. There's by the time I get a worker set up and messing with it, I could have could be half done with it. All right, we do not want to windrow, so well, I guess those were already up. They looked like they they weren't. Gonna go down? Man, those take a long time to go down. Okay, that's the only one of these fields that needs to be spread. Let's now go into windrowing mode, and you know what? I'm going to do these other small ones, and then I'll set the AI loose on, on the bigger field 18 over there. Let's just get it done. Then we can bring this over to field 71 and just keep it there for the whole rest of the time. Okay, so we got, uh, uh, let's see, why don't we take this little tractor down to the store and get the tether on it. Uh, I need to get, you know, I need to get some dudes going on the cultivating too. So let's actually do that first. Uh, we'll just, we'll put the New Holland on my cultivator and get someone going on that. Did I leave the lights on on this? I sure did. That's terrible, man. We're going to run the battery down. Uh, okay, so uh, we want to go here and uh, we actually, you know, we got to go to the contracts first. So the first cultivating is going to be up on field 10, which is in the northwest. We usually do start up there because those are the lowest numbered fields. So I want you to go to 10. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. But it's going to pay out a lot of money, too. Uh, why don't we have you start on this end? But I'll I'll actually get him started because I haven't had much luck telling them to go out and then start the actual job. And these cars are stupid around here. Okay, while we're waiting on that, why don't we get you going with taking some stuff up to our northern fields. I think I'm going to get all the northern fields busted out first and do 71 last so we can just stay there for the whole rest of the time. It kind of probably doesn't matter a whole lot one way or the other how we do it, but we're going to do it that way this time. So I usually start with 71 and then go up to the north fields later, but we're going to do it bass backwards this time. Why? Because we can. Okay, 
Okay, he's almost done. You're 55% full. I'm going to have to do a little bit of cleanup work, but that's okay. That's usually the case with those guys. All right, now we're going to take this one down to the store and get the tether and get that up to the north field. What is this, a Valtra? A spunky little tractor. I like the dark green color too. Okay, let's turn this one loose. Great job. Go to, and we want you to go up to 15. I want you to stage right about here. And then I'll come up and see you. Okay, who's doing what, where, when, why? Let's get the McCormick involved here with hauling some more stuff. We're not using those mowers. Uh, we don't really, we don't need the big windrower up on the north fields. In fact, we probably don't even need it at all. I could use it maybe to pull some of the grass on the outskirts, but I don't know if I'm going to mess with that. Not this time anyway. I usually do, but I just kind of want to get things done quickly here. Great job, go to, and why don't you stage along, uh, along here is good. All right, now uh, you're ready to get started, aren't you? And well, we better get that combine out of the way first. You. What else do I need to haul? We don't need the windrower up here. There are a couple things. Actually, yeah, you know what? I want, sorry guys, I know I'm a little scatterbrained here, but I'm trying to figure this all out. I'm not the world's best multitasker in case you haven't ever noticed that before. Um, I actually want you to go do the cultivating because you got more horsepower. All right, so go to you come all the way up here and i actually will start you on this end of the field too so you just stage there uh, okay start job now you just move up to here for now you're done so here Let's just do a little bit of cleanup here. All right, now we're going to send you to field 71. Great job. Go to and get right in the corner of there. And when you get there, I'll get you started. Okay, I think we're making good time. Uh, you can turn the header off now. It's okay. It's allowed. How come you're not turning off the header? Oh, I gotta take over for him, that's why. Um oh, we still have more to do. Alright, let's finish this up. They're 62% full. So that dummy was sitting there just spinning the the catcher and charging me money and not doing anything. Oh, uh, you know why though? It's probably because the trailer was in its way and it didn't know how to deal with that. Like I said, dummy. <laughs> I'm going to also back up and catch this right now too.
Look at those oats. I love oats. Oatmeal is one of one of my favorite cereals. I like it a little al dente. I don't like it mushed. With a little bit of butter and some brown sugar, maybe a little bit of milk, or even some half and half. Mmm, good stuff. Sometimes I'll even put maple syrup in it, and I'm talking real maple syrup, folks, not that fructose corn syrup crap that they sell and call it maple syrup. I think that's it. Okay. We are going to have to come back up here and bale this straw. Or we're go we get to, I should say, come back up here and bale this straw. Let's get this pipe out. This is a long pipe. At least compared to uh, my combine, anyway. Okay, so we're just going to park the combine up here. There's no reason to take it back to the to the farm. Oh, well, we can't park it on this field, though, because we have to cultivate this field. Uh, we do want to get this header trailer out of the way for the cultivators, or cultivator. There it goes. What a nice machine. Maybe we'll own it someday. Okay, that'll just stay there until we return it to the owner. I'm sure they won't mind if we leave it on their property. Um, I'm not going to actually turn this quest in. Well, we got to get this straw anyways, but I might want to make use of this JCB for some other things too, so... We're just, we probably won't turn anything in until we're all completely done. Uh, all right, where does this have to go? This needs to go to uh, harvesting oats, feed and grain south. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to tell this worker to deliver... To feed and grain south. Right there. And then when you're done, I want you to Yeah, I don't want you to loop because otherwise he'll just sit in there and keep charging me money. I'm not sure where I want this tractor to go quite yet, so let's just send it back to our farm when they're done. Okay, go to it. You got this, man? You got it? You got it? You gonna go? Anytime now. You're on the clock, man. Let's go. Move it. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> okay, we got you up here. Uh, let's knock this out real quick. Okay, we're just going to leave the tether up here by the field. We're not using it for anything else, so I'm not obligated to wash it. And then we'll send the little Valtra back to the shop to get the little windrower and bring it up here. Okay, so let's grab you, create job, go to, back down to the store, and just stage... Right there is good enough. Okay, who's next? You are in the way. I really wish there's a way you could get the AI to, you know, to bail and stuff. I mean, you, I actually have seen it done with, I think, course play, but 
I haven't figured, I haven't, well, I don't have course play A yet. I might at some point. It's a mod for those of you who don't know what that is. Um, I think I'm just going to leave the McCormick here for now. And B, it looked, you know, from what I saw, it looked like it's sort of, sort of involved. So I'd have to figure it out. But it might be worth it uh, to do that. Okay, I think I'm going to send the new Holland back up to the North Fields and have it run the Baylor. So you go back over here and stage right there. Okay, and then we're going to hook up the, the big cloth here on the cultivator. All right, go to it, man. Okay, now let's get the crone going. I'll do the... Man, I got a bunch of stuttering going on. Anyway, let's get this guy going. I'll do the, the boundary as usual, and then I'll turn the AI loose. All right, we made 878 bucks off of the oats. That's just for the oats themselves, not the actual contract. Okay, now you need to go back. I thought, wait, I thought I told you to go back to the farm. Maybe it doesn't do that if, yeah, I guess you have to have looping on for them to do that. That's okay. He would have just sat there and cost us money anyway. Okay. Now we can tell him to go back to the farm though. So let's go here. Grab you. Great job. Go to, and, um, what I might do is hook the JCB up to my square baler and have it go do the straw for us. All right, you need to get the windrower and stage right about there. All right, go to it. Who's next? <laughs> All right, you're just hanging out there. We're going to get the new Holland going on the baling, but that's something I'm going to have to do myself. So do I have to babysit anybody else at the moment? You're doing good there. You're doing good there. We're not using you. You're on the way back to the farm to get the baling for the straw. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's take over for this guy since he's almost here. Wah. We don't need this trailer anymore, so we'll just kind of stash it over here for now. Yeah, man, my screen is really stuttery. I don't know if you guys will notice that on the video, but it's like wigging my eyes out. I might want to... Maybe I should reboot or something. Oh, all right, so let's see. We got you. Create job. Go to... And I want you to come up to field nine. And stage right here. All right, go for it. You are just about here, so we're going to just take over for you.
you need to go back to the store one more time. And again, you can stage right there. Okay, you're good for the moment. You, we need to hook up to the baler. You're good. You're good. And you need to start baling straw. Let's make sure we're set to the 240. Yeah, we want 240 centimeter straw bales, the big ones. Because we're not wrapping these or anything like that. Actually, I want to go back to the farm for a second. Do I have a tractor over here? I'm losing track of where all my tractors are. No. All right. We have the McCormick that's not really assigned to anything at the moment. So what I'm going to do with you is have you go get my flatbed and the front loader and the bale loader. I'm not going to lease the expensive bale pickup just for, you know, the five or six straw bales that we're going to get on that field. Not worth it, man. Not worth it. As nice as it would be. We'll own that someday. I know I say that a lot, don't I? We'll own this someday. And what a glorious day that will be. Uh, okay, so what are we doing? Let's go back to the JCB and back to the Balin. All right, let's check on things. You need to hook up to the baler. And we will send you up to the north field to finish the hay job. So once again, stage in your usual spot. Okay, so it looks like all four of these guys are doing their thing. You are going up there, right? AI worker has stopped unexpectedly. Okay, let's see who that is. Hey, you dummy. You dummy, dummy, dummy. Let's get this guy out to the street here, and then we're going to send you up to field nine. Great job. Go to, and as usual, just stage right there. Whoops. And go. Okay. You're fine there for now. You're still going there. You're still going there, but you're getting close. And so here's where we are. Oh, actually, let's check on the little Valtra first. Oh, we just passed it. It's right here. Okay, let's get this done. Uh, what size are you set to? 125s? I'm going to set you to 150s because that's what the other baler is going to be set to. Not that we probably won't be picking them all up, both up at the same time, but that's all right. Cute little baler. Never used this one before, I don't think. Oh, pay attention, OG. Getting off track here. <laughs> 